previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the crowd could be persuaded. Waited to secure Ironwood from House Forrester? Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick! By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> <laughs> The Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon. And coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> I'm dying, though. Malcolm, what do you think? We should conserve what we have for when we really need it. Good. Because right now I really need it. Right. We need to get moving. The Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. 
Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing it. Not that I care about Azal. He was gutter trash, and I bloody felt like it. That neck was begging to get stopped. <sighs> You've grown older, but you haven't grown up. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah! Bugger a harpy! Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And, when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here, just standing our ground. Let's spread out and look for cover. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for your butcher. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? We all need to pull together if we're gonna get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I have the faintest idea how we're going to pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. You see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asher. Beska matters to me. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. Let me know if you find anything. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly? What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asha. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. Hey, Beska. I meant to say, thank you. I realize this isn't your fight. A marine is the last place you'd want to go. God, Sasha, don't go soft on me. Together till we're dead. You know anything else about these bastards hunting us? Well, obviously they hate you. Thanks, I figured that out on my own. You've heard the rumor, right? They carve their faces up as an initiation. Flay the skin right off. Looks like they're inside out. That's why they wear those helmets. Pfft. No. That's a load of horse shit. Look, Malcolm's all right. I promise. He practically raised me. You know my father and I didn't get along. Well, he's an odd one. And he doesn't appear to like me much. He has a lot of things on his mind. The right things, I hope. Beska, if you see anything... Looks like we're not alone. 
No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground? There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Kesirinsi! <coughs> shit! Come on! Oh, oh, go! Right behind us! Damn it! Russia! Find us another way out of here! Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? There's a light! Go. See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off! I can't even guess what this used to be.
Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cutter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows.
I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. It's not your concern, Finn. That's where you're wrong. I need to know if I'll be fighting alongside a thief. I didn't steal your knife. <laughs> you wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. People might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Giant wolves. It's all right to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. to my, my vow. vow. Night, Night gathers, gathers, and, and now, now my watch, watch begins. begins. It shall, it shall not, not end until, until my, my death. death. I, I shall, shall take no wife, hold, hold no lands, father, father no children. children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear no crowns and win no, and win no glory. I shall, I shall live, live and die. And die. And die. At my post. I am the I sword, am the sword in, the in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett.
We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling I am wrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. And strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal, but one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. I used to be frightened of wayward trees, but before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this, before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A mammoth. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. But this can't be real, Uncle.
Hear the werewoods whisper. Look, it must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. That doesn't look right. Let me try another. whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth. Uncle, whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrid! I don't know. They're probably like little... Little shards or something. I hope to never lift one of those Wait, again. so, like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall? Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrid's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. 
Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you... Make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about- Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway, he'll never show up again to tell them. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. Someone paid him to kill me. They're still out there. They might try again. Oh, God. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just keep your eyes open. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Look, I, I appreciate all you've... But I never asked you to help me. You didn't have to. I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Can we just keep it between us? I prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where... And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, 
I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah? What do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira, but your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> 
What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands! I have every right! We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill, that snot nosed fourthborn, parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here, to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan.
He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Speak true. Would you give up this house? But your brother! We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor, at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitehills are already fortified inside Ironrath. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos, with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Well, until they force our hand, we'll hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I understand your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. 
A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. My lord, you honor me. I know there will be talk. But my family needs this. We need it now. It's in good hands, Lady Mira. And I haven't forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Garrett! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? I take it this wasn't just about the ironwood. Garrett. You have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Cotter's a clever one. He could be a real help. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one to the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. We'll be practice swords to Gary, start. what's the master? Don't want anyone you know him. Their balls. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the master. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was 
talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels. Being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? No. Uh. Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. Of course I do. Whitehill Ironwood is inferior to my family's. Always has been. The Crown needs the best. Well played. But I know you don't really believe it's that simple. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest Ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. Like little toys. I'm not so easily played, my lord. My lady. Why do you think I'm talking to you? I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? What happened? Oh. 
happened? Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. Can you help me get it out? I have my own affairs to deal with. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. It's locked. You're not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. What's wrong with you? You can't keep sneaking after me. I'm here to help you, Mira. You know that. I'm not here for my own pleasure. Tell me who you're working for. I can't say. You know I can't. Mira, I would be here anyway. I can't afford not to help you. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I'm not going to ask you again. <laughs> Damn it. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk! Tyrion's strongbox! Oh, it must be in here! Mira! I think the Lannister Guard is back! It's the other one. Damn it! Hide! I'll find a way to distract them! I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after? Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Fire! What the 
hell? Damn it! Come on! You did it! How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. No, 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 no! Just hurry! Oh! Come on! Finally, let's go. <coughs> if I catch the bastard who I'll wring their bloody neck. We're not far now. The Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the Whitehills. Do you see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. We've no time to waste. We must take back what's ours before all the ironwood is gone. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting me. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what our family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Although she might be thinking the same thing. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly white hill. This well. I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Naaman and, and uh, Megan. Hmm, I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. 
And he won't stop. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Well, I came. So let us get to the business that brings us here. Yes. We should get on with it. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you've come here to say something, just say it. We can talk about my brother after. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring. I'm not afraid of some petulant fourthborn. You should be, because there's a very dangerous fourthborn in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Kill me? On my own land? Do you really think this is even your land anymore? Oh, wretch. Just listen. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. My lord? Come along, Duncan. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? 
Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? These are dire times, but I won't kneel to a whitel in my own house. Then don't kneel. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No, this can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. I have to say, miss, that our Tengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Roiland? Roiland? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there. Go on, get in there. Go on. Get in there. Oh, you do You do what you're told. Please, I'm just moving on. Go ahead. Fucking was. No, it was. He was standing over there. Fucking was. This time he learned some respect. Get down there. Get off again. Get down there and die like a good little boy. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was here. I'll play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. Never. I don't kneel to bastards. Get out of my house now, all of you. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. Oh, I know you've seen it before. Stop this. Or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favourite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Oh, no, Ethan! <laughs> 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 down. <laughs> Oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. Oh, yeah. oh, better than the real Ethan. And what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honour are lower than dogs. <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. <laughs> All right, who's next? Can Make his mother watch. No more fucking now we'll really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And you'll regret what you've done here. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time.
Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them, and we won't all be coming back. I appreciate if you're thinking of going, but you should know Brit volunteered. He took his vows in the Sept. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him, but bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I understand. You won't have any trouble from me. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises any. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. What didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. That's mine. Hand it back. Of course. I, I wasn't stealing. I, I was just taking a peek. But the thing is, I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it to Witch's Den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth, it's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Black's all. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they don't. Would you do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. 
we got caught. So, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. If you're a wildling, that means you know your way around north of the wall. Aye, more than anyone round here. Could come in handy then. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there! I'm going back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. North of the Wall's a different world. One wrong step and it will swallow you whole. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The Watch would kill me if they found out. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You alright? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. <sighs> Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'd be damned if some dragon fire or your Foul decisions are gonna stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. Well, oh, come on, Malcolm. Why are you making this such a big thing? We're defined by the choices we make, Asher. One day, we'll understand that. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. Great friends indeed. Oh. oh, that's it. You're losing your edge, Croft. You know you're right. I should kill you. Good fucking advice. Whoa, no, no. I wasn't actually suggesting. You never understood consequences, Asher. 
One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <coughs> Not a fucking chance! So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Get the fuck off me, Croft! I'm not playing your games! This is no fucking game, Asher. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asher! Hey, A hey, man hey! betrays my trust. Fuck you, Croft! Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden. The Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine! Women! Did this Khaleesi make you a house cat, Croft? Curled up at her feet? Since when do you turn down an adventure? Since the second son swore to Daenerys bloody Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet, Asher. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Impossible. The beast is huge. The size of three war horses. Scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. You two back in my life. Spinning your tails again. Uncle, show it. Dragonfire did that. So you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your sleep. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, It'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Can't put my finger on him. Well, watch your back around him just the same. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole.
And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Yeah, this one's still good. That's ironwood for sure. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. to death up here. This must hold up the lift. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Pig farmer. A 300 mile wall, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settled things on the way to Crasters, but this is even better. Oh, fuck you, Brett. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. It seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone, so I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. You fucking shit! Temper, temper. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. You're going to die for what you did! Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. Let's see if you scream like your sister. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me, like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Take your sword. When you die, you'll know you weren't good enough. So noble, you fucking cunt.
Finish it. Go on. Don't piss yourself on the way down. My lord, our people are starving, and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way! And so they come to us, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? We can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Look at this! Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal! She bloody bit me! Yeah, now it's her turn! She's gonna get what she has coming to her! This won't go unpunished! Let go of me! I don't care if she's your sister! She bit your man? How did that happen? What did he do to her? That doesn't matter! It matters what she did! I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. You bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Thieves have to be punished, so your man got what he deserved. He's lucky he didn't get any worse than that. So you've given over your duties to this girl, then? Or can you not control your sister? Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in, yeah, what, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you what? are? What? I'm not afraid! I, I want order! But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. 
And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen! Still high enough to look down at you. Wait. Forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. That's how I like to see you, Foresters. Oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, Foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Take him, Roiland! My bloody pleasure. I'll fucking kill you myself! No. Make him watch this. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! <laughs> My lord. What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Griff, not the arm! If you persist, Lord Roderick may lose it! Now, stay! Down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? When... Oh, oh you, you can't. I command you! Let him... You! You should fear me! I'm in charge here! No! I alone! Rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick. You'll see. I will make you suffer for this. Trust in that. My boy. Careful. He's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. We both know that.
Do you see that? Standing up to Griff has made him hot. More severe. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. It was good to see. I just hope I didn't make things worse. I couldn't let him punish you. I know you couldn't. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the ironwood. We are. All of us. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. The Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the past, Asher. Carried. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs>